This is an example of a small application that you can write using Stack.io. It's only a hundred lines of code. So let's say you want to offer a live shoutcast service to cover sports events, for example. So I'm connecting two clients here. The first one to connect creates the room and gets the right to broadcast messages. The other client will only receive messages. As you can see, messages appear in real time on both clients. Let's send a few more. The timestamp is generated on the server once it receives the message. The messages are saved on the server side, so when you reload the page, you can recover the history. Alright, now let's look at the code. So that's on the client side. Once the page is loaded, we grab the room name from the URL. After that, we instantiate the Stacker client by giving it the address to which it needs to connect. The client is provided in the callback, which we use, in turn, to connect to the live stream service. Then, we call the enterRoom method on that service. EnterRoom uses the streaming response feature of Stack.io. This callback can be called in multiple contexts. If the client is the first to enter the room, it is provided a key that will allow him to broadcast messages. On the first connection for any client, it will pr be provided with an array containing the history of the messages that have been sent in this room. Finally, it will receive a simple message object every time a new message is broadcasted. Then, only for the owner of the room, clicking on the submit button will call the broadcast method. This is a very simple call that just sends the content of the text box on the server. This function just adds a message to the page. Now, let's take a look at the server-side code. First, we require the Stack.io module. We keep enumerate information for each room. This information includes the key, as well as the broadcasted messages. Each room also has an event emitter, which is used to publish messages. Here, too, we instantiate the Stack.io client. We provide the address of the bridge, which in this context is called a registrar. Then, we use the client we just obtained to expose a new service, that we call Livestream. We define two methods in the service. The first one is called EnterRoom. If the room doesn't exist yet, we create it and generate a key that we send to the client that called EnterRoom. Here, we subscribe to the update event for this room. Every time an update event is published, we'll send the appropriate message to the client. Finally, we send the history for this room. The other method is called broadcast. First, we check for the existence of the room and the validity of the key. Then, we generate a message object with text and a timestamp. This object is added to the room history, then published as an update event. And that's pretty much it. It's as simple as that. Thanks for watching!